All right. I was not expecting living people. By the way, did I find everything before? Uh, oh, there's a secret. In the classroom. The se there's a classroom secret. Okay, I'll come back after I check the town where I try to verify what it might may or may not mean. Did I miss something there too? What is this? Oh, that's my town. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Um. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, got a lot of translating coming ahead of me, don't I? Uh. Ah. Uh, whoa. Okay, let's let's get a let's get my notepad. I should be writing this as I go. Shit. Alright, W O A Whoa <laughs> Uh H O Top left is It's harder to find these than it should be, I feel like. I need a, I need a better system. Whoa, how? Oh, I should have known that was the letter I already used. Shit. <laughs> whoa, uh, so whoa, how? Uh, it's probably the. P H no? Hmm. The D. I. How, whoa, how did... I'm guessing that's you? Y, O... You, yeah. Whoa, how did you... Get here, I'm guessing? G, E, T, yep. How did you get... Uh, in? Yeah, get, how'd you get in? That's probably here. H, E, yeah, here. As you can tell, it's an incredibly thrilling thing to translate. Let's say that everyone else, let's assume for now that everyone else is saying something similarly innocuous until I get stuck and, fe and realize I have to translate every single person's dialogue. Mm -hmm. He's like, whoa, how'd you get in here? But I spent five minutes translating it because that's how... How are you talking in something that I have to translate that is just English? Man, you talk a lot, child. All right. The takeaway is that people are alive. Okay, that's just a two letter thing. I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, Z... ZU or ZV? Huh. Everyone who talks in this town sounds like a time for typewriter. It's weirding me out. Ooh. Whoa! It's yet another door! This one requires one, two, thirty-two cubes. Must be something really special behind that door. I'm only two away from getting it. Holy crap. Oh, there's doors. I gotta keep an eye out for these. Oh. Spooky owl. There's nothing in here, though. It's just a spooky owl. What is your deal, owl? Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the center of my soul? Can I go in? What? The door won't open. Something wrong? Ooh. 
Was I somehow behind it? What? Yeah, I must have been glitched out like behind something. Is this, this is a throne? Yeah. Snazzy. Look at Mr. Hot Stuff over here. He thinks he's hot shit. Yeah, I'm not- Oh, there I am behind stuff again. I'm not really sure how that's happening. It seems like kind of a glitch. But at least now that I've identified it, I'm good. That's a QR code, except it's... That doesn't seem usable. That seems like a, a drawing of the concept of a QR code more than an actual QR code. Oh. Okay, that's a QR code. But they're currently drawing it still. It's like it's not complete, right? I mean, I would like to not use it considering they're currently standing in the way of it. I feel like that means I wouldn't be able to use it. Because you have to see the whole thing, right? And that's what an old typewriter sounds like. I find it interesting that it shows, when it runs out of the gold cubes, it actually shows my anti-cubes as blue. That came as a bit of a surprise. It's the first time I've seen that, at least. There's a door. This town is so close to ours, too. I've got a key! What, the people blew on each other or something? What's going on here? Children. One of them became a seer. And then they blew on each other, and then they went to space. Sure, makes perfect sense. What? What are those images? Door. I just went behind that door. Yep. Just went behind that somehow. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. The layers are working weird in this particular location. Yeah, yeah. Are those numbers again? Huh. This might be the answer to how numbers work? I don't know what's going on in some of these walls though, like that thing, dash dash n. But also n dash dash n. What? Like what? Like, that looks like a dice. And I could potentially see those being like one, two, three, four, five, six, like left or right. Hmm. Oops. I'll at least try to draw the bottom one. Like I drew a square with a line coming down halfway through the top. A square with a line going down it vertically. A square would vertically going all the way down, but then coming out the side a little bit on the right. Yeah, like I just... I vaguely drew them. Not as solidly. Like, th this looks like a series of pixel graphics where mine have lines in them, but it's something. The question is, can I make any sense of this? Because, like, this doesn't answer... Like, maybe those six things are in a sequence, but what does it mean when they rotate? Like, on the left side of the screen, the, there's a square with a line coming out of it that only goes halfway through. And you see one coming out of the right, then one coming out of the right, then one coming out of the bottom. 
then there's ones coming out of the left and top. Yeah, I see all four all four versions. One, two, three, four, five. Is it saying that those things add up to that number? If we take the first two as being one and one, we take the next one as being four. Four plus two we would equal six though, not the next. Um. Does, is that an equal sign? Like it's saying that that n, it's saying that the n shape thing is itself, but also seems to be saying the other thing equals an n. But how? I don't see how those could be equal, like logistically. And I straight up don't know what that means either. Huh. And what does it mean that there's just... I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure which parts I'm supposed to be able to pick something logically out of or not. Like on the left side of the screen, is that just a bunch of numbers? Like, why are there just a bunch of numbers? And what do they mean? Am I supposed to be able to cross-compare them? I don't know. But, mm, we'll move on for now. I know how to find this in the future. We'll see if it ever makes sense to me. That's a- it's a, a bit to process. I'm thinking it's the number system. It definitely looks like math equations, kind of. But I don't know what to process where, how... Ah. Let's go collect our stuff. Alright, so no doors here. No doors. The door. No doors. Should be good to go. Bah. It's gonna do my head in. Uh, that was all that was there. Oh. Oh, right. The thing that goes down is gonna be the 32 square one. That's what's missing there. But I am missing something from the classroom. The other classroom. I would like to see whether or not I, I can like decode something from it. I think it was the top one. No. Somehow managed to find every wrong answer. You? Yes.
There's supposed to be a secret here? It would basically be required to be a rotation sequence, right? Like going back and forth and whatnot. That, that tells me what a few of the, of the Tetris blocks mean at the very least, potentially. Maybe gives me something to work with. Not just the bell, right? No, not, not that easy. No. Maybe I need to translate that sequence there? Hmm. So for feature reference, it's the one with the arrow next to it. It's been a long time, so I'm gonna go back to town and see what I can get out of that. Did it. Whoop. Am I at the top of town or bottom of town? I don't remember. I haven't been here for a while. Oh no, I, I had to climb up this one, didn't I? Oh, shit. Getting impatient. Trying to go fast, which just, just leads to more mistakes. Haha, <laughs> shortcuts. If the Tetris blocks mean something, then what's up with the Tetris blocks then that, that are in the background? Can I jump on these or anything? I guess this would tell me if there was a secret. No, there's sec there's secrets one in the boiler room and one in the room of the guy that used to be me, basically. You're back. You were gone a long time. You said that before I even left. I don't believe you. That woman is a pile of lies. This is my home. Which is unimportant. Yeah. So you're one of the secrets. Yeah. We've already opened that, though, so it's not that. Where could it be? Is there a clue somewhere? There's the owl again. I've seen that enough to know that it has like a significance now. These kids with O's on their heads. Can I climb that frame? There's certain things I can climb on top of, but that doesn't seem to lead to anything. I don't see any writing. Maybe it's the bows on their heads? Right, left, 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 right, right, left, left. Right, left, 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 right, right, left, left. Right, left, 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 right, right, left, left. Left, right, 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 left, left, right, right. Right. 
no. I was thinking it might be a combination. Uh, is there something about this painting I can decode? Most of them are looking straight at me. Only one's looking left and one's looking right, so the, the bows on their heads are the best I can go off of. But I tried both variations, so that didn't work. Hmm. I need, I need a better idea, evidently. But the main reason I came back was... This, yes. Okay. Uh, I guess that's the symbol of a cube and an anti-cube. There's a gold frame and a green frame. What do those words mean? Uh, uh, where is that Z shit? X? That's an X? Wait, that's just X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Are they coordinates? X, Y, Z would be coordinates. Hmm. Well, I need to, I need to copy down all these variations I see here, because these all mean something. So we got, we got the T shape that's pointing upward. That is the square with the line coming out of it. But the one that faces right is square with a cor uh, square on the top left. Yeah. It shows two versions of infinity. One that has, is two squares attached to each other and one that is two squares linked through each other. That's interesting. The Z is a horizontal line through a square, but the other Z is apparently just a square with a line on the right side. This is weird. There are two here, there's three. Oh, ah, one of them's hiding behind the fence. What? I have a Z pointing to the right over here. Why does that one seem to have a different symbol attached to it? What the hell? Is that a mistake? Because there's a Z right here. And that one over there looks like it's the same Z. But it has a different symbol, I think. I'm hoping that's a mistake because it's like out of frame. What does that mean? And then that one's just like a filled in square. Oh, right, because that's a, that's a two by two. That one has a little thing coming out of the left side. What is this sequence right here? It's a square, then two horizontal, vertical lines, one horizontal line, and then three, three little squares. What in the world? Then you have this giant mess. The sequence. The L shapes are in here, which are not explained around here. No. Oh, but that's the T. That's the T that's pointing downward. Don't have that one yet. That's a square with the horizontal and half the vertical. Okay. I'm getting close to something. At the very least, using these, I can now translate a Tetris thing into the the notation of like this what I think is a number system. But I don't necessarily understand the number system yet is the problem. It might like my one of my first reactions is because I'm playing Uru right now. There's a base four numbering system in Mist, 
It's like if you take the numbering system where there's just a square with half of a line through it, and you take the four rotations of that, that could be one, two, three, four of that sequence. But then it gets confusing because like the one that the window pane looking one can't be rotated because it always looks the same. And the one that has a vertical or a horizontal line going all the way through it only has two permutations, not four, because flipped all the way is symmetrical. Meanwhile, what gets even more confusing is that one poster I saw made it kind of seem as if two different symbols being rotated might be equal to each other. But... That does not appear to be the case. I don't know. Either way, I have these notes written down. So we can at least try to make sense of them over time? I don't know. There's evidently a secret in here? Is it in the grate? I can stand on this. I can't go in any of the gratings. I can stand on this table. There's a giant skull with three eyes. Huh. I'm just wondering, of course, what the secret could be? X, Y, Z. Hmm. We'll have to see over time. I'll come back in the future and we'll see if I can piece together some kind of meaning from that. Maybe when I have a better understanding of the numbers? For now, the two secrets in this town remain secrets. Along with the one back there. Let's uh, maybe go back to getting cubes, right? If I, if I reach the quota, then I can at least open the cool door. Find out what's behind there. Definitely could use a fast travel system. I would very much like the ability to just click on where I want to go on the map and be like, nope, just go there. Go there right now. I dare you.